If you have lost more than $175 in the last month of trading, you are doing it wrong. In this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process on how to become a successfully profitable day trader risking the least amount of money humanly possible. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we talk about everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. I don't know what happened this last month, but I've gotten an absurd amount of DMs from people saying they've blown their account, they lost $300, they lost $500, they lost $1,000, they borrowed money from their parents, friends, and family members, they lost $10,000, and it is rampant right now. I need you guys to stop. This video has to be made so that you guys understand how day trading works. You guys have literally heard it a thousand times. There is no trading strategy that works 100% of the time. It does not exist. There is not a trader on this planet that does not have losses. You've also heard the fact that risk management is one of the most important things in day trading. Think about the phrase risk management. It's managing your risk. It's not risk avoidance. The only way to avoid risk in day trading is to not do it. So how do you risk the least amount of money with the most amount of upside? This is the typical way that people do it. They open up a $100 trading account thinking that they're risking a small amount of money in order to get rich quick. Instead of using 1% risk and a 2% take profit, meaning that on a $100 account, your risk is only $1 and your take profit is $2. Now for the normal person, $2 profit on all the work that goes into putting in one trade is not cost effective. It does not bring you the wealth that you desire. And so the typical thing that most people do is over leverage that one trade. They end up risking 5%, 20%, 50% in hopes that this is the one trade that's going to hit take profit and they're going to double their account. What actually ends up happening is that over leveraging stresses them out. The trade starts going against them. They move their stop loss. The trade breaks out in the opposite direction and that $100 is now gone. So instead of risking 1% for the trade, you risked 100. The next scenario that happens, and this is the worst one by far, the person doesn't want to trade with a $100 account, so they end up borrowing money from friends and family members thinking that if they have a $10,000 account or a $20,000 account, they can make these bigger lot size trades and make more money and pay them back and live the high life. And what they do is make the same exact mistake that they made with the $100 account. And before they know it, that ten dollars or $20,000 is gone. Now you might be somebody that's thinking to yourself, that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. I would never do something like that. And I'm here to tell you, I've gotten hundreds, and I mean hundreds of DMs from people telling me that that exact same thing happened to them. This is why I need you all to stop over leveraging and stop trading money that's not yours. Stop trading money that you're not willing to lose. So with that being said, and the whole backstory of why I'm making this video, let's get into the steps that you can take to lower your risk and be more profitable. You guys have seen this setup a thousand times before. It is my favorite setup for trading and it is my bread and butter when I'm day trading. This is what we call the three line strike. This is an example of a sell. A long position looks the complete opposite. So price is below the 200 moving average, meaning we're looking for short positions. Price gets some nice momentum to the downside, then three consecutive fake out candles up, and then one engulfing candle down, meaning that that fourth candle right here engulfed, completely ate the previous candle. It is bigger than the previous candle. That right there is a three line strike. You enter in on that trade, you keep your stop loss two times the size of that candle, that engulfing candle, and your risk reward ratio is one to two, meaning that you're risking 1% to gain 2%. That's what this trade looks like. This is on US 30, so it shows you right here, your stop loss is 71 points and your take profit is 143 points. 
and this move happened in 11 candles, which is 55 minutes. So in 55 minutes, you had a successful trade because you are following the momentum and you scalped quick price action. So how do you make a lot of money off of this one trade if you don't have too much money to put in your trading account? What a majority of professional traders do is trade on funded accounts. If you guys don't know what a funded account is, it's a service offered by a prop firm. There are companies that exist out there that if you prove to them that you're a good day trader, they will give you the money to trade and you split the profits with them. It's very, very simple. Okay, so now that you know these two things, that prop firms exist and that you're really bad at day trading and you're losing money really quickly. This is step one that I need you to do. I need you to stop trading real money. Please be patient with yourself, but just stop trading for the next 30 days. That's all I'm asking. Stop trading real money for 30 days and just listen to me. During that 30 days, I want you to go and set up a demo account. I want you to set up this fake money trading account, a demo account, no risk, zero risk whatsoever. It's fake imaginary money. Instead of the typical $100,000 that all demo accounts give you, I want you to manually set this demo account to $25,000. You can use any broker's demo account that you wish. I suggest you use Hugo Way because it goes on to the funded account thing that I'm gonna talk about in just a second. So you've stopped live trading with real money. You've set up a $25,000 demo account with Hugo Way. Now, I want you to be diligent with this. For the next 30 days, I want you to trade every single day with a rules-based strategy. You do not get into a trade unless it meets these specific rules. You can use this strategy or whatever strategy you've been using, but I want you to test that strategy for the next 30 days on a demo account and I want you to open up an Excel spreadsheet and I want you to write down the time and date and currency, whatever asset you're trading on every single trade, how it played out, why you entered the trade, everything. This is gonna be your trading journal. You need to have this in order to track your results. No professional trader just trades willy nilly and says, oh, I'm gonna go short here. And then they have 15 losses, but they have no proof of what happened during those losses and they can't improve off of the knowledge of why they lost the trade. At the end of that 30 days, you have an entire spreadsheet of every single one of the trades that you took and how they played out. Now I want you to evaluate that entire spreadsheet. Look at your win percentage and look at the total account balance and see if you are a profitable trader. If you are not yet after that 30 days, you need to do it for another 30 days and keep going until you are profitable on demo. It's stupid to start trading real money if you're not profitable on demo because you won't be profitable with real money. You can use my affiliate link down below or you can go Google it yourself. I literally do not care if you use my link or not. It is not important to me. The important thing is that you choose this account. You choose a challenge account, the lowest, for $25,000 funded account is $175. There are no monthly fees, there are no trading rules, no restrictions on what style of trading, and you get 90% payouts on the first 10% of profits and 80% payout after that. The reason why it's called a challenge account is because they're giving you a demo account to prove that you are a good trader, to prove your profitability and to hit a certain percentage gain on the account. If you want to read all of the details on everything involved with this funded account, you'll see everything right here on the rules section. It's fundingtalent.com forward slash rules. It gives you everything broken down so you know exactly what parameters you need to hit. Here's a basic overview. You have a profit target for this challenge period. For a 25K account, you have one month to gain 8% on the account, and then the second phase is 4%. So with your proper risk to reward ratio, your goal is to hit 2% per trade. So theoretically, four successful trades back to back will get you through the first phase of this challenge. You also have to keep in mind the daily max drawdowns that you can have on the account, which is 5%. So you would have to lose five back to back trades in order to fail this challenge. And the most incredible thing, you risked $175 to get this funded account, right? 
that's a small amount of money compared to what people have been losing this last month, according to my DMs. So you risked $175 to try this funded challenge account, right? Refundable fee. After successful completion of both phases of the funding talent challenge, the sign-up fee will be refunded upon the first payout that you receive. That means that that $175 you invested gets returned to you. This is now a zero risk endeavor. Now let's get back to the charts and show you exactly how this works out. So now you have your $25,000 funded account, right? You're in profit mode, you're out of the challenge, you already passed that, you're ready to make some money. Your 1% risk on every single trade is $250. 1% of $25,000 is $250. That is the maximum drawdown you should be willing to have for one trade. Your profit goal is 2%, meaning that your take profit is going to be $500 per trade. With this specific trade example, you set your stop loss according to the size of that candle. If you hover over your position, you see that your stop loss is 71 points on US 30. Use a position calculator on the internet. They are free and they're everywhere. But for me and my contract sizes on US 30, a 0.01 lot size means that every point that US 30 moves, I get a dollar. So my calculation on this is very, very simple. My 1% risk is $250. I divide that by 71 points, which is the stop loss that I've set at, and I get 3.52. So my lot size is going to be three micro lots. I can't do 3.5 micro lots. Micro lots are individual things. And I'm not gonna push it up to four micro lots because that's over risking. That's not according to my plan. So with this one trade as it hit take profit, I got $429. Now you can see the potential here, right? If you took $175 and opened up a Forex account and started day trading with that, you're gonna make a very small amount of money and you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna over leverage and it's gonna fly away out of your pocket. Or you can be smart and get a funded account and have way more money with the same amount of risk and actually trade the proper way, risking 1%, for 2%. And that's the bare minimum. Some strategies get you one to four, one to five. I've even seen some swing traders go for one to 10, which blows my mind. If you are losing money, if you've lost more than $175 in the last month, stop trading real money. Open up a $25,000 demo account. Demo it for the next 30 days and track every single one of your trades. If you are happy with the profitability of that strategy on that demo account, go to Funding Talent and set up the $25,000 funded challenge account for $175. Pass the challenge and start making real substantial income. I really genuinely hope that you guys hear what I'm saying to you. Stop risking so much of your own money. If you mess this up, you only lost 175 bucks. But if you opened up a $500 account with Fora and you're trying to make money and that goes, like, why would you take the $175 away from the $500 that you had, go buy yourself a brand new pair of Nikes and be stoked about it, as well as go out to a fancy dinner and try your hand at day trading? Like, you got to think about your resources and how you want to allocate them. Now, I know that you guys are losing for a specific reason. And it is one of 10 things that I find that are the most common day trading mistakes, which you can watch fully explained in detail in this video right here. And if you guys got some value out of this video and you like the way that I teach and you like just me in general, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.